All right, this is lecture 10. This is uh, part 3, I believe. Yes, part 3 on uh, gas laws. And in this part, we're going to talk about uh, partial pressures. Uh, usually, when we deal with gases, they are uh, mixed, they're a mixture. And so mixed gases each contribute to, uh, to the total pressure. And sometimes it's important to know what is contributing uh, the uh, pressure, what gas is contributing uh, a certain amount of pressure. And so the, what we should realize is that pressure is directly proportional. Let's spell that right directly. Or shunnel to the uh, number of molecules. So, uh, just like our temperature and volume, as the number of molecules increases, pressure increases number of molecules decrease, the pressure decreases. And so in a mixture, the more molecules you add in the form of a different gas, then the more pressure, of course. And the pressure of individual gases is, what's ref what, is what we call the partial pressure. So in this example, a simple example, we have nitrogen and we have oxygen. And the two give us a total pressure of a 900 torr. And But what we know is that nitrogen is, is two times the concentration of uh, oxygen, all right? And so, what's the pressure of oxygen and nitrogen? Okay, well, this is simple because we have two molecules two atoms, two different types of atoms. Each of them uh, is in at a specific concentration and whatever oxygen is, nitrogen is two times that. And the total has to be 900 torr. So the partial pressure Of, of O2 must be um, 300 because the partial pressure of nitrogen is two times that which is 600 to give us a total of 900 torr. Alright, so the sum of the partial pressures gives us the total pressure. All right, that was simple enough. Let's look at a little more complicated one. Let's say, for instance, we have um, we know the molar concentration or the moles. I should say we can determine the moles if we had concentration of a gas. But let's just start with moles, okay? 
I have oxygen, hydrogen, and CO2. And oxygen is in there at 0 0.2 moles. Hydrogen is in there at 0 0.3 moles. And, nit and CO2 is in there at 0 0.7 moles. Okay. Um, if we knew the mole fraction of each and the total pressure, we could determine what the partial pressure of each gas would be. Okay, so what is the equation for determining the partial pressure? If we have total pressure, well, pressure of Well, I should say the moles of gas right, divided by the total mole of gas in the mixture. Okay. Times total pressure. Do that, it will give us our partial pressure of the gas. So in this example up here, what is our, let's say, I want to know what's the partial pressure of uh, CO2. Well, the moles of CO2 is 0 0.7. The total moles of gas in the mixture, we add this all up, and we get 1.2 moles. Okay, add that all up. And of course, what is our total pressure? Let's say the total pressure is uh, 700 torr. That's all the gases together. Simple math. So divide 0 0.7 by 1.2. Get my trusty calculator. Where's my phone? Do I have my phone? I have to use this guy. Okay, I can't see that, but take my word for it. Let's turn it off. 0 0.7 divided by 1.2 equals 0.58. By the way, 0.58 times 100. We multiply this times 100, that will give us a percent, 58 percent of the total gas is CO2. And of course, if we multiply this by our total pressure, this is what we were supposed to be doing, we get a total pressure of 408 torr. Okay, so that would be the pressure, or the partial pressure, of CO2 in that mixture. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how we determine partial pressure. We can start off with moles, uh, sometimes we may be given a percent of the gas, and we can simply revert back. Uh, we know the percentage, 58% or 
0 0.58 equals the moles of CO2 over the total moles we can determine what the moles of CO2 is simply by uh, reversing our math 58 percent or that's how you represent 58 percent 0.58 in the equation all right and so that's a uh, partial pressure not very difficult um, Boyles and Charles and the combined laws and so we should be all set for exam number three and then we have a couple of more items to cover um, respectively chemical equilibrium and uh, acid base reactions. We'll talk again.